Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Toyota Sienna, this generation right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you have one of those, you need to find where the fuel pump relays are located. You have multiple relays, up to four relays. That will just will explain where you can find them. Where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take things completely apart we show you guys how to do electrical mechanical bodywork a little bit of everything guys if you have one of those vehicles that we are making videos on subscribe we will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs all together guys on our channels we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars now also if you need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way guys you do not waste your money and time we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here, uh, you also have that special integration relay right here, and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find, so let's go ahead and start on it now. So the fuel pump relay, where you can expect to find it, you have multiple relays because they're known for the fuel injection system. You have relays, okay, for fuel injectors, fuel pump, multiple things. Now, you guys have two different fuse boxes in that Toyota Sienna. We'll need to work in just one, that's right under the hood. Pop the hood open, facing the engine on the right side. We have a cover right here, once you open that cover, you will see a fuse box underneath it that will look like this one. This is the layout here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea guys to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So you wonder now where the fuel pump relays are located. If you have problems with fuel pump, always check our uh, uh, video about fuel pump fuses. You will have multiple fuses that you need to check. It could be just a bad fuse. But the first relay that you need to check is relay number 8. That's a fuel pump relay here. Next you need to check fuel pump relay number 9, number 10 and number 11. These relays guys will need to be checked right here. These four relays are for the fuel injection system. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.